All righty, everybody, welcome back to Live Now from Fox. Regina Gonzalez back with you here, and we are continuing our coverage when it comes to the twists and turns of the Gabby Petito case, new developments emerging over the last 24 hours as the search for her 23-year-old fiancé, Brian Laundrie, is intensifying. I do want to bring into the conversation Fox's Phil Keating. He is joining us live from Northport, Florida, outside of the Laundrie family home. So, Phil, good morning to you. What can you tell us? Good morning. Well, the parents of Brian Laundrie, Chris and Roberta, just left the house. They got into their red pickup truck and they drove away going nobody knows where. They did not say a word at all. They did this two days ago, came back in about 90 minutes. So one would think they're just doing errands or taking care of things they need to do. Uh, they have essentially been prisoners inside their own home barely ever making their faces seen because there are cameras all over the street here in the neighborhood in Northport, Florida. The FBI is in charge of this investigation. Brian Laundrie has not yet been found. FBI agents did stop by this house on Sunday and they obtained some personal effects of Brian Laundrie so as to use for DNA matching purposes, but they left within a few minutes taken out a paper bag that was provided by what appeared to be uh, Brian Laundrie's mother. Uh, volunteers are also searching here, and that, of course, includes the uh, former reality show star Dog the Bounty Hunter, also known as Dwayne Chapman, his real name. Uh, he's been honing in the past couple of days on a state park, Fort DeSoto State Park, which is in Tampa Bay, just south of St. Petersburg. And he thinks there are going to be leads there, but so far, after two days of searching there, including yesterday with Dog Team, uh, they have not actually found Brian Laundry. This family, the Laundry family, did in fact go camping there. In fact, Roberta Laundry, the mother, her name is on the park registration for their campsite. They went there just a couple of days before Gabby Petito's parents reported her missing. Remember, they had not spoken with her since late August. Uh, it wasn't unusual for them not to talk to her every single day. But by the time the 11th rolled around, that is when they decided to call the, the police and say, uh, our daughter's missing. We can't get a hold of her. She's not answering texts, etc." cetera. So um, the attorney for the family says the parents and Brian Laundrie all went there with the red pickup truck and that trailer, the camper thing that goes into the back of the truck. And they went up there, they camped at a campsite for maybe a day or maybe two, and then they came back home. And according to the attorney, all three did in fact leave and come back here to the house. But his whereabouts are unknown. Um, his mother, according to the attorney, uh, helped him obtain a cell phone once he got back here to Florida on September 1st, because according to the Moab police body cam video, when they interdicted the couple after somebody in Arches National Park reported a man slapping a woman in the face, uh, you could hear Brian Laundrie telling the officer that uh, only she has a cell phone, I don't have one. So uh, once he got back here, uh, he did get a phone. However, the attorney for the family also says that on the day he allegedly went for that hike, two weeks and two days ago, he left his cell phone and his wallet here at the house and he has never returned back to the house and his whereabouts are completely a mystery. A nearby nature reserve where supposedly he, he had gone to hike, the, they found no evidence of him or his backpack or that he was even in the park on a hike while they have to actually search for a pretty heavy week with about 60 searchers. They're looking by air, by swamp buggies, as well as by foot. Much of the area is swampy underwater, uh, but as they now allow the water to recede, because it hasn't really rained here in many, many days, um, they're going to be returning to the reserve and likely today to try to explore some of these underwater portions that they were unable, uh, unable to access last week. Regina. Yeah, Phil, I was going to say, we know that uh, the search at that specific Carlton Reserve has relaxed a little bit, as you were kind of just saying. Um, we know they have been searching, though, right? Were they searching with drones and kind of focusing more on the air resources that we have? Is that correct? 
Well, they've been uh, scaled back, the search at that reserve, for sure. The FBI is now in charge. Northport Police Department was kind of in, in charge of the search area uh, in the initial days. But the FBI is now in charge. They're going, uh, instead of a massive, large-scale search, they're waiting for good tips, good intelligence, and then making targeted searches. We have seen a handful of cars there, thanks to the helicopter aerials, uh, the last couple of days this week, but it's not the massive amount of people we saw day in and day out last week. And now, Phil, I do want to go back to that phone for a second. Now, we did hear from the Laundry family attorney. What did he have to say about the recent news surrounding that potential burner phone? He said that the the son, Brian, left the phone here at the house, went on the hike, and it's his belief that the FBI now has that phone. Remember, they did execute a search warrant here at the house. They were here for several hours a couple of weeks ago, and they did remove several boxes of items from inside the house. Uh, as far as his wallet, presumably the FBI probably has that as well. Uh, since they were getting everything that was pertinent to their investigation. Keep in mind, Brian Laundrie uh, was indicted last week by a federal grand jury in Wyoming for bank fraud. He's accused of using somebody else's, not named, ATM card uh, during the three days he suspected of driving home here in Northport from Wyoming alone without Gabby Petito in the same white van that they had been doing their big summer long cross country road trip visiting all kinds of national parks out west. And so TMZ is reporting that he bought a burner phone that's not certainly independently confirmed at all, um, but that would be reportedly on the same day that he went on the hike. But if he got a phone on the same day as he went on the hike, why would he leave the phone uh, here at the house instead of in the car when he goes on the hike? Just Question after question remain unanswered, Regina. Yeah, definitely. Well, Fox is Phil Keating out there in Northport, Florida, breaking down all of the latest twists and turns. We really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.